Hey everybody, I'm Ben. Welcome back to my workshop. This is part two of the four-way dust collector switch build. And we have pretty much built the entire thing. There's just a couple more things we need to do. And first things first, we need to cut out where the dust collector ports are going to be on the track so the tram can rest on those. So let's get going. Since I just glued these pieces a couple hours ago, it says not to stress the joints for 24 hours, so I'm just gonna put this support piece under here as I push down on the hole saw here. I'm not gonna make a big divot, probably about this big, maybe even thinner, something like that. But yeah, I'm gonna measure where I need to cut these and then drill these out. Okay, so that should be good. That's the center of where the hole lines up. I don't want it to go past this. So, well, let's see, let's give it a go. Well, I think this divot is unusable. I'll just have to cut it out of somewhere else. What's happening is the entire piece is moving as soon as I press the drill press down, so it's causing a very interesting divot. It's not what I want at all. All right, that should do the trick, huh? Nice and securely clamped. Now I just need a scrap three quarter piece of MDF. That'll do the trick. This is usually not a good idea with such a small piece. This is how much I need, but I'll probably be cutting it more in half and then sanding it down from there. Now for the world's most insignificant glue up. Actually the feature that this enables, actually quite significant, but the size is very small. All right, so after much waiting and anticipation, our little nub <laughs> has successfully been glued on here, so give this a try here. Flawless. And my goal here is to have the switch between my miter saw and radial arm saw right across from my work table here. So I can come over here and swap it to the necessary machine that I need to collect dust from. And those three machines will be the miter saw, the belt sander, and of course the beautiful grizzly eight inch jointer here. So I just need to build a connection from here up to about here where I can put the handle. So I was thinking about the handle and I thought about it and I realized that the two most common positions for this sled are going to be here, which is going to be the miter saw and off so I can use some other tools such as the table saw, drill press, etc. 
problem being that, yes, I could put the miter saw here, so I would just switch it back and forth. The problem is, this is going to be facing this way, and the front of my miter saw table is going to be right here. So that would mean I'd either have to constantly be switching it from here to here, or reaching way far back and flipping it back and forth. So I have made the slightly difficult decision to go ahead and cut this entire piece right here and move it to this side so I can have off at the beginning or off at the front and then my miter saw here because those will be my two most common changes. And although it's a little bit of work now, it's going to save me a huge headache in the long run. I'm sorry, buddy you're going to have a big scar right down the center over here, but so be it, all in the name of convenience. Oh, remember when I thought I was done gluing before? Now we wait. Taking the time to think while I was waiting for the glue to dry, I finally came up with an idea on what to do as far as the handle goes. Found this old piece of three quarter MDF there. I'm going to make yet another hole except this one's gonna be a little bit larger to go around the coupler that connects to one of the pipes, and then I'm just gonna make a handle from there. And I should be able to easily choose which machine the dust is collected from with the switch. I mean, technically I could just squat down and change it from the floor, but I don't wanna be doing that every single time I need to change it. One of the more boring things to do on this project is to silicone all these pieces and parts in here so they are airtight. I'm hoping that I have enough to go around, but we shall see. Oops, I ran out. Grab some more today. Well, let's go. Okay, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I need to come up with a mounting system for this to mount it onto my workbench. And I think the best way to go about this is to use a pressure fit mounting system versus screwing it or nailing it directly in just because it's MDF and that is extremely prone to splitting. So I think I have an idea. <laughs> Man, 
four holes, about 45 minutes. <laughs> Put the tripod there so this can see better. All right, time for installation. I added these two little pieces to help support the, the switch. Do it with just this guy. I will need this for another project, so I can't leave it there. This is the radial arm saw that you're under. Okay, there's that guy. All right, and now the moment of truth. Oh, this guy's too low. Uh. Well, I was charging it. Took that top part off. And I mean, it's pretty solid. The biggest stresses are going to be back and forth, not necessarily this way. So, let's go ahead and put the switch guy in here. See what happens. There we go. Standing up. Easy enough. So this position would be off and I'll just let this rest right here. It gets wedged in there and then this would be the dryer saw. And then, then this one would be the sander around the side. And then this one finally would be, that'd be the jointer. So, it's nice that I don't have to bend down here and switch it. Definitely have to pull up a little bit to get it to move, but that's okay. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier than bending over or getting down on my knees to switch it. Well, I think this came together rather well. Very happy with how it turned out. There are a couple things along the way that we could have probably done a little bit better. Number one, following the directions from the get-go. <laughs> so I didn't have to do that last minute surgery on the whole thing. But anyways, I'm happy with where it's at. The only thing I would consider changing right now is possibly putting that top bracket back on just to secure it a little bit better. I could see as time goes on that the top could pull away from the mounting right now, but I'll monitor it as it goes along. Now I just gotta put the pipes together and hook them up to the machines. So thanks so much for watching. Appreciate your time. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.